I just received the Gather Around Inventions curriculum in the mail. Hi, I'm Jennifer. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool, fourth grade, and just enjoying this journey. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll do a flip through. So we have three components, the teacher's guide, then my daughter is in fourth grade, so I have the upper elementary student book, and then also we received the cursive manual. So let's start with the teacher's guide. So the teacher's guide, as you can tell, it is full color, it's beautiful. So you have your welcome from Rebecca. And then it talks briefly about what is the gather around difference. There are a number of different student manuals. The pre-reader is for three to five year olds, early reader six to eight, early elementary eight to 10, upper elementary 10 to 12 years old, middle school 12 to 15, and high school 16 to 18 years old. My daughter is in fourth grade. She's right on this span between early elementary and upper elementary. Um, for the Christmas unit, I ordered the early elementary for her. That was just a little bit below her grade level, and so therefore I ordered the upper elementary for this um, for the inventions and ideas. So you can see that throughout these pages include seat work, notebooking, science, social studies, history, geography, grammar, writing project, Bible, and art. So this is meant to take one and a half to two hours per lesson. And there are 20 lessons. So if you do a lesson five days a week, then it's a four week course. Or obviously if you do a lesson four days a week, it's a five week course. Adventures, your field trips, your shopping lists, and then the optional supply list for each of the different lessons. And so what I really like that they did on this one is for lesson one for this is middle and high school. So it's all in here if you have, and I'll show you that, but if you have multiple children, this will include in the teacher's manual, the supply list for all grade levels. Then you have your book and resource list for, and it's broken down by each lesson. And also, if you look, it will tell you, like for lesson 17, it tells us that some of the books are also included in lessons 5 and 14. Then we have the table of contents. So there are 20 lessons. We start with lesson 1 in why we invent, then inventions that navigate, inventions that fly, thrill, communicate, 1, down here is communicate 2, deflect, illuminate, dive, clean, entertain, survival, protect, inventions that go, inventions that communicate to, and then explode, heal, organize, transmit, build, and discover. Then there's a recitation. And then we get into lesson one. So with each lesson, there's a prayer. Then we talk about the ideas, the, um, the information. Look at these beautiful pictures. They're gorgeous. Um, a did you know section, and then let's talk about it. Then what this is what I was mentioning earlier is for day at a glance, it shows you page one, notebooking, page two, unit project, three, science, four, messages, and page five, Bible. And then for each of the different levels from pre-reader up through up through high school, it shows you what they're going to be doing that day. So if you need to pull together information for multiple age ranges, it's all here in this one teacher's manual. And so I think that that was a great um, change from the, the Christmas unit to this unit. I think that was a great idea. So this is lesson two. And then lesson two, you can see there are some grammar. And so for the different, for early elementary and then upper elementary, you get your answer key for the, for the grammar. Then we're into lesson three. And lesson four. 
bungee jumping. How about fun? And then lesson five. Basically set up the same way for each lesson. You have the information and then um, to what the students are doing. And here's your day at a glance. So each lesson has the day at a glance. Then we get into lesson six. And again, here are your answers. Lesson seven. This is inventions that illuminate. Lesson eight. Lesson nine. So we have 20 lessons in this book. Then we have the appendix at the end. So we have our 20 lessons. And then you have the appendix. So for lesson five, you have your Morse code chart. Lesson 15, your map of Japan. And lesson 18, your electromagnetic waves. Then obviously here are your references. Teacher's Guide, as you can see, is bound on the side for the student book, the upper elementary. It is bound at the top so that you flip it up. And so there's a welcome to the students and then scope and sequence. So you can go through and for this upper elementary, you can see the Bible passages, biblical concepts, Bible, geography, art, math, inventions. There are quite a few inventions because it goes down. And then we have science. So science, three columns of science, then history, two columns of history, social studies, language arts, writing, and grammar. So that is the scope and sequence for this upper elementary then we have the reading logs, and there is room for four books for your reading logs, and then we go into the table of contents. The recitation, and then here is your seat work. So for week one, you have copy work, a spelling focus, spelling words this week, tricky spelling, hands-on adaptations, character training, and here's your spelling words again. Then week three, week four, week five. And now here's the first notebooking page. Here's a brainstorming page for your invention that um, the student is going to develop. Now we're into lesson two for um, magnets. Oh, make your own parachute. That'll be fun. List some of the features that give roller coasters the elements of thrill. That's a good thing to think about in bungee jumping. Here we're talking about how does a magnet work? What is inertia? How has airplane travel affected the world? So here we're talking about the armor of God. Body language. This is a good one. Thomas Edison. So 
So for, um, we're on lesson 10, we talk about adverbs. What is the difference between a need and a want? Here's an optional extension activity for art. There is history about Benjamin Franklin. He was an amazing inventor. Here we're um, working on our own inventions some more and applying for a patent, to have a patent. Here's advertising, so we get to advertise our invention. And then we're to our appendix. We have the appendix for what we are utilizing throughout. Here is biography of Benjamin Franklin. We get to make this book on one of our founding fathers. So that's exciting. Then you'll have the certificate when you successfully complete this. Then finally, we have our cursive. Again, again, our cursive is bound at the top, just like the student manual. And so the cursive is, um, so here's the table of contents day one through day 20. So you have your spelling words, then tracing, then working on spelling, copy work for our Bible verse, and then more working on spelling. And then we have the dictation of the Bible verse. And then the week two spelling. So this works the same way with tracing more spelling, copy work, and then spelling, and then you have your dictation. Five is the last week, and we have a character focus, the armor of God, and then practice for your lowercase letters, and then your uppercase. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas as to what the Gather Around Inventions and Ideas curriculum entails. I will be doing another video in a few days that will outline exactly how I'm planning on incorporating this into our homeschool and how I'm going to adjust it to better fit our needs and better fit our schedule. But right now I just wanted to give you a flip through to show you what is included in the Inventions and Ideas unit from Gather Around. Have a great day. Thank you so much.